After bursting onto the rock scene with her 2015 single, X's and O's, Elle is now taking the country world by storm. She's got her latest album, Come Get Your Wife. <laughs> Elle, first of all, I love that you have a new album out. And I love you that you say this is the first album you made when you're truly happy. What does that mean to you? It was the first album I made after becoming a mom, and mm. my whole world just completely changed when yeah. I had him. And um, I, I can't tell if I was like just very tired, <laughs> um, and I just went with it, and I didn't second guess myself, or I just had this whole like bundle of joy, and my heart totally expanded. So it was really cool to make um, an album from that place and that yes. type of energy. You, he is too lucky, lucky. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. and he tours with you. Oh, yeah, he goes everywhere with me. Yeah. What oh, is my it? God. My little road dog. Uh, what is Lucky. it like to tour with Lucky as, as your sidekick? Uh, now there's oh. two people on tour crying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lucky holding hands. Is I that pre-show? Is that like a little yeah, pre-show we, we, ritual? we do a little prayer, and we just try to go on stage from a place of gratitude. Oh. And it's been a really, I mean, listen, I've changed. I know. It's really weird. When I first started asking my band, like, hey, do you guys want to, like, pray? Yeah. They laughed. And, yeah. and now it's just a really nice way to kind of regroup and take a moment and say, this is amazing that this is our job, and um, let's go out there and be grateful and be present for it. Well, stock and, and that transformation is something, you're right, whenever someone changes, I think trying to convince those around you, I'm different now. Yeah. How did you do that? Uh, I'm still not uh, done trying to convince everyone, but I'm working on it. I'm working yeah. on it. Yeah. Well, okay, that, wait. And this song, you wrote a song about for, him. For Lucky. I did. For Lucky. Yeah. I mean, you talked about how he changed your life, but how would you nutshell that? Because he's changed everything about you. you oh, can my see. gosh. I mean, I've always wanted to be a mother. I, I don't know where it kind of stemmed from, but mm -hmm. I just had this weird feeling like I just... I just have this love that I don't know where to put it. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted this. I don't know what it is. I don't yeah. know what, where it came yeah. from. Yeah. But I had him, and he completely changed my life. And um, I think when you have a kid in, in any capacity, mm. um, I think it <laughs> helps you kind of look at your own childhood and helps you heal yeah. things. And so yes. I definitely softened a yes. little bit. Um, but yeah, my son is everything to me yeah. and he goes everywhere and he's just such a mm -hmm. beautiful <laughs> blessing. I love him so much. Uh, um, okay. You have so many fans. You're touring mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the people who said they adore your music is Sir Elton John. Yeah. Hi. That's Sir crazy. Elton. Yeah. That's totally normal. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so when you, that <laughs> happened, <laughs> well, here it is. Who has the most <laughs> Were you freaking out? Yeah. Look at me. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> he's just telling. He's just telling me. Not only if he would have just said I listened to your album, yeah. I would have been fine. But he like complimented it, and I said, "Okay, I'm good. I never have to work again. I'm fine." <laughs> Elton John likes my album. By the way, you have a lot of amazing singers who love you. Miranda Lambert, who is a country legend herself, yes, not only loves you, she sings with you. What's your relationship like with her? She's so amazing. I look up to her as a person, as a boss. I mean, mm -hmm. I, the first day on tour, she, it was her idea. She wanted a fully female fronted tour for months. And um, I had nothing at country radio at the time. And I walked into like all these gifts and just like little comforts, just the little things that like she thinks about and she knows because she's toured so much more than yeah. me. And we just kind of formed this friendship and a bond. And I asked her if she would sing on the song with me. And it was the scariest text I've ever sent <laughs> because I didn't want to like mess up our friendship. You yes. know? So she kind of left me on red for 24 hours. Oh. I was like, what have I done? <laughs> um, and then she said, yeah, yeah, I, I would love to sing it. And oh. really, though, none of neither of us knew that it would do what, what it, it did. did. Yeah, because yeah. that song, I mean, I sang it yeah. beautifully, I think. Yeah, she Amazing, yes. Earlier. Yeah. But that song, like, <laughs> to perform that and have the whole audience. Yeah. Yes. And you've had other hits like that before, but it feels like... Not many. Not as many <laughs> as Miranda. So I was like, this is working for me. To yeah. have to have everybody sing along. Uh -huh. It's really cool. It's it's It just feels good. Yeah. Um, the other night, there's a venue in New York that really helped me uh, kind of start my entire career called Rockwood and mm -hmm. um, they're doing some benefit concerts and so I put a concert on and it was really interesting because I haven't played there in 10 years since I was really first starting out playing music in New York and uh, it was weird to play like my radio yeah. songs yeah. there because I used to just play all my like singer songwriter stuff so yeah. it was just a really weird and beautiful kind of mm -hmm. moment to take in of like being home and 
music and where I'm at now. Well, Full circle and super yeah. awesome. L is on tour right now. You want to know the dates? Go to HodaAndJenna.com and make sure you go see her. Oh, thank you so much. We're thank so happy you. for you.